movie-inspired design and retailing for a whopping $49.99, this Chase Mighty Transforming Cruiser features sound effects with music and synchronized flashing lights. Love the authentic styling, paint, and size of the vehicle. Place Chase in the cruiser to activate fun lights and sounds, then push down on Chase to transform the cruiser into rescue mode. Chase's vehicle expands to over 15 inches long and 8 inches wide. Push in on the nose and thruster to return the vehicle to its original form. It even features the Paw Patrol theme song. Wearing his movie-inspired outfit, a Chase figure is included. Isn't Chase cute? He has a translucent body so you can see the lights through his body when he's in his cruiser. Chase rotates his head, but his limbs don't move. The first setting has sounds and phrases while the second has just sounds. Retailing for a whopping $49.99, this deluxe Sky Mighty Movie Jet features motion-activated lights and sounds. Take a look at that impressive entertainment-accurate styling. Amazeballs! Sky's dressed in her cute pink Mighty Movie uniform with a translucent body. How cute is Sky? Sky fully rotates her head, but her limbs don't move. Sky activates lights, music, and phrases. When it's time for an action-packed rescue mission, hold the handle on Sky's plane and tilt it up, down, left, and right to activate sound effects. Then squeeze the lever on the handle to rotate her jet's wings and hear sound effects and music. When trouble arises, load both the projectile launchers and press the buttons on each wing to launch the projectile. How about the Mighty Pot? Are you three puffballs serious about joining the Paw Patrol one day? Yes! Absolutely! More than anything in the entire universe! Vroom Vroom! A Target exclusive retailing for $24.99 and authentically stylized from the movie. This Liberty and Junior Patrollers feature vehicle includes Liberty's ultra sleek looking transforming motorcycle. An adorable Liberty figure that's looking mighty pretty in pink in her movie accurate Mighty Pups uniform and her junior patroller pals dressed in their official uniforms to bring your non-stop rescue missions to life. Push down on the top of the motorcycle to activate sidecar mode so you can take your junior patroller pals on their next training mission. Don't they all look so adorable in Liberty's motorcycle? Did he say lunch? No, I said lunch! Uh -huh. Now that we're super, I'm never gonna get to sleep. Well, you're probably more tired than you... Rubble's Mighty Movie Bulldozer looks amazing. In addition to the great paint, I love the attention to detail like the movable wrecking ball, working crane, and movable steamroller. Love the design. It looks straight out of the movie. Place Rubble in his bulldozer to activate interactive lights and sounds that heighten the play experience. Push the vehicle to hear sounds. Cute 2.3 Rubbles wearing his Mighty Pups uniform with a translucent body, you can see the light shine through his body when placed in his bulldozer. Rubble's head rotates all the way around, but like the other pups, there's no limb movement. Check me out! I'm a walking magnet! No way! Sorry about that. Spanning 7 inches long, Rocky's Mighty Movie Recycle Truck looks cool in green, orange, and blue. It features authentic styling and details faithful to the movie. It has movable recycler arms for bringing your adventures to life. There's a storage area in the back to expand the play possibilities. Place Rocky in his recycle truck to activate lights and sounds. Push the recycle truck to hear sounds. 2.6 inch Rocky's wearing his movie inspired uniform. Rocky's really cute. When placing Rocky in his vehicle, you can see the light through his translucent body. Rocky's head rotates a full 360 degrees, but there's no other movement. Dude, I'm one with the water, sir. <laughs> Zuma's Mighty Movie Hovercraft looks like a whole lot of fun. I love its movie-inspired design in bright orange and black paint. Place Zuma in his seat to activate interactive lights and sounds. The light shines through Zuma's translucent body parts. With rolling wheels, you can race into amazing adventures. 2.4-inch Zuma wears his Mighty Pups uniform from the movie. Zuma looks so cute. 
Like the other mighty pups, Zuma's head rotates a full 360 degrees. Other than his head, he doesn't have any movement. One team is ready to launch. <gasps> Did he say lunch? Uh, no, I said launch. Uh -huh. Paw Patrol is on a roll. Retailing for $24.99 and measuring 10 inches long and 5 inches tall, with authentic movie-inspired design and styling, race to your next thrilling rescue mission with the Pup Squad Paw Patroller. This set includes the Pup Squad Paw Patroller and a super cute Mighty Pups Chase Pup Squad Racer. You can load Chase in the front cab. The Paw Patroller's wheels roll so you can race into exciting rescue adventures just as in the movie. What's cool? It transforms from a Paw Patroller truck into an awesome mobile command center. Put Chase on the cab roof to activate the rear ramp. Then send your car down the race ramp. There's even storage for your Pup Squad race cars. Unlike previous Paw Patrol vehicles, this one's made of plastic and Chase's head doesn't articulate. We're gonna need a new name for ourselves. How about the Paw Patrol? But more, with just a little bit extra. Retailing for $24.97, this Mighty Movie Pups gift pack features the entire Mighty Pups team. Standing over two inches tall and dressed in their The Mighty Pups movie uniforms, the complete set includes six figures. Chase, Sky, Marshall, Rocky, Rumble, and Zuma. Aren't they super cute? Love their bright, bold colors and the attention to detail. They closely resemble their counterparts from the movie. They're made of hard plastic and feel sturdy. Their heads fully rotate, but none of their limbs move. Wish they were more poseable. Also, I wish it came with a Liberty figure in this set. Well, well, well. Humdinger. He looks different than I remember. <laughs> this seven-piece Pup Squad and Humdinger vehicle gift pack includes all the main characters with their respective vehicles from the Mighty Movie. Featuring movie-inspired styling, this set includes your favorite hero pups. Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rubble, Rocky, and Zuma. Plus, an exclusive Mayor Humdinger rescue racer car that you can't find anywhere else. At two inches tall, they're perfect for little hands. With rolling wheels, they roll into action. Sky and Humdinger feature foldable wings. Interestingly, their ears are molded back so they look like they're racing at full speed as in the movie. Race to the rescue with the Paw Patrol Pup Squad Racers. Unlike Spin Master's die-cast line from past years, these vehicles are made of plastic but they're still pretty sturdy. It's one of the quickest and easiest ways to build your collection. I think we've got superpowers. And that's why I wear a hard hat. Let's check out the new Paw Patrol, the Mighty Movie Vehicles, each retailing for $17.99. Here's the Chase Mighty Movie Cruiser. Inspired by the movie, it looks like a futuristic police car with nice paint and awesome details. Are you ready to save the day? Place Chase into his seat to activate cool lights and sounds. How oh, cool! It also comes with a 2.6-inch Chase figure in his Mighty Pups uniform for playing out scenes from the movie. He looks so adorable with a transparent body. The lights actually shine through his translucent body. Chase moves his head, but not his limbs. I feel the need for super speed! Get ready for Mighty Rescues with Marshall's Mighty Movie Fire Truck. Love the beautiful paint and all the true-to-movie details. Really cool-looking fire truck. This fire truck has a movable rescue ladder for incredible rescue missions. Place Marshall in his clip-in seat to activate interactive lights and sounds. You can also roll the fire truck to hear sounds. Wearing his Mighty Pups uniform, 2.6-inch Marshall looks super cute. Like Chase, he also has a translucent body. Marshall's translucent parts light up when he's placed in the vehicle. Marshall rotates his head a full 360 degrees, but his limbs don't move. I didn't do it. Gear up for possum adventures with the Sky Mighty Movie Jet. With a look inspired by the movie, Sky's jet looks fantastic. Place Sky in the cockpit of her jet to activate lights and sounds. You can also push the jet to hear sounds. Sky's Mighty Movie Jet has foldable jet wings. 2.3 inch Sky's dressed in her Mighty Pups uniform as seen in the movie. Isn't she so adorable? 
Like the other figures in the line, she also has a translucent body, so the light shines through. Sky's head fully rotates, but there's no movement in her limbs. Play out your favorite scenes from the movie with Sky. I'm a wrecking ball. The flagship aircraft carrier HQ playset expands to over two feet long. What's cool? This headquarters transforms into rescue mode and exposes the meteor. Interactive lights and sounds bring the set to life. It features fun dual vehicle launchers where you can launch your vehicles into action. Kids will love the two shooting water cannons. In addition to the aircraft carrier HQ, it also includes a Mighty Movie Chase figure. A Target exclusive, this Pup Squad and Liberty Vehicle gift pack includes seven Pup Squad racer vehicles to race to the rescue. At two inches tall, they're perfect for on-the-go fun and for little hands. Each pup is dressed in their authentic Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie uniforms with their ears molded back so they look like they're racing at full speed just as in the movie. You can also get your favorite two-inch Pup Squad racers individually for $4.97 each. They feature authentic movie deco and styling. Choose from Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rubble, Rocky, and Zuma. A Target exclusive, save the day with this Liberty and Junior Patrollers playset. The set includes Liberty, Tot, Mini, and Nano figures to bring the action to life. Retailing for $9.97 to $10.99, here are the 7-inch Mighty Pups Basic Plushies, adorable, soft, cuddly hero pups. Here's Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rubble, Rocky, and Zuma. Who doesn't love surprises? Retailing for $3.99 apiece, these Pup Squad surprise figures include one individually wrapped mystery 2-inch collectible figure, a Walmart exclusive retailing for $9.97, the Mighty Sky figure gift pack includes three generations of your beloved pup, Sky. Here's Sky from the first Paw Patrol movie, Mighty Pup Sky from Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie, and a super cute, never-before-seen Baby Sky figure. A Walmart exclusive spanning over 15 inches long, the Pup Squad Aircraft Carrier HQ features two extending play areas. Lift up the Command Center's roof and place your Sky race car into the Command Center pod. To automatically raise the control room upwards to raise the gravity launch ramp and reveal two pontoon play areas with a sleeping quarters a mission control selector, the meteor lab, and a jail cell. Ready for a supercharged rescue mission? Push the red launch tab on the command center to send Sky down the ramp and into action. This Pup Squad Paw Patroller gift pack includes the transforming Pup Squad Patroller and Mighty Pups Chase, Marshall, Sky, and Rubble Pup Squad Racers for possum adventures with your favorite hero pups. Retailing for $29.99, the Chase RC Mighty Cruiser races to the rescue, reaching thrilling speeds up to 4 miles per hour. You can drive it from up to 100 feet away for great range. It has an easy-to-use two-button remote control. The left button moves Chase forward, while the right button reverses and turns around the vehicle. For $12 each, Gund has a wide range of 6-inch The Mighty Movie plushies, Choose from Chase, Liberty, Marshall, Rocky, Rubble, Sky, and Zuma. Retailing for $15.99 each, Gund also has 9-inch officially licensed the Mighty Movie plushies of Chase with his electric blue police uniform with yellow accents, and Sky with her pink aviator uniform with silver accents. 12-inch Sky Premium Plush retailing for $14.97 is super soft and cuddly. She stands 12 inches tall with soft fur, embroidery details, and realistic details to inspire creative adventures. The best part? She's perfect for playtime or nap time. Dressed in her Mighty Pups uniforms, these 4-inch Mighty Pups plush with clips are perfect for on-the-go rescue adventures. Clip them onto your bag, backpack, or stroller. Look for all your favorite hero pups, Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rubble, Rocky, and Zuma. The game we all know and love is getting a Mighty Movie makeover with Uno Junior Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie. The fun new graphics theme is inspired by characters from the movie. Match colors and numbers to get rid of all your cards. When you're down to one card, don't forget to yell Uno!
Go! Headbands, Junior Paw Patrol, the Mighty Movie game is the quick question game of what am I? Damn, this Mighty Movie collection is pure possum sauce. Meow. Hand over Luigi, or I'll huff and puff and blow your castle down. <laughs> Help me! Mario! At $29.99, hands down, Fire Breathing Bowser is the must-own toy from the entire line. Standing at an imposing 7 inches tall and with 14 points of articulation, the mighty Bowser just looks menacing. He's ready to crush Mario. The most amazing part? Even with his chunky size, he's got great movement in his arms, legs, and even tail. It's a bit disappointing that his head lacks articulation, but that's offset by his biggest selling point, fire breathing. His rubbery back shell comes off and you can insert three AAA batteries inside. There's a cap on the back of his head that opens. Fill it with eight to 10 drops of water. Simply press the spike on the back of his shell. Do you yield? I do not. You see the smoke? His mouth lights up too. Turn off the lights to really see the fire coming out of his mouth. This toy is a total one up. Mario, where are you? <laughs> I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? It's a me, a Mario. We're getting Mario, Luigi, Princess, and Toad in the five inch line. All of these figures have realistic eyes, which are both cool and creepy. Each costs $20. Here's Mario. Everything looks great except his face. Mamma mia. If you're a big fan of Mario's new look, Yahoo! there's a lot to like here. Love all the sculpted details like the pinching on the hat. You can see all the stitching on his overalls, he's got rivets, look at his shoes. Now he's got actual laces and treads. For an action figure, Mario has great detail, but where it really shines is in its articulation. You can create a ton of poses from the games, he's even got waist movement. Surprisingly, his hat is not removable. Wish there was more movement in his head so he can look around. Mario always gets cool power-ups, but now he's getting a plunger. Can't wait for when he unclogs sinks and fights evil <laughs> Bowser with a plunger. Where's Mario? Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit? Because I don't! Here's our damsel in distress and everyone's favorite scaredy cat, Luigi. Luigi looks straight out of Luigi's mansion and always looks like he's gonna wet his pants. Luigi, number one! I actually love the Luigi figure more than Mario. Really great details on his overalls. He also has the same great articulation. I love all the different poses you can put him into without worrying about balancing issues. Mario. He does suffer from a lack of head articulation. Let's give him his massive flashlight, which unfortunately doesn't light up. Hello? Oh, what? I'm a cat? Now you die. I'm a cat. Cat Mario first appeared in Super Mario 3D World. As Cat Mario, Mario has the ability to dash, pounce, and scratch like a cat. Here's Mario dressed in his bright yellow cat suit. Look, he looks adorable. He really does. Does anybody know where I can adopt a yellow cat? In the games, Cat Mario has the unique ability to climb up walls. Let's see if I can make him climb. Nope. Take a look at his fluffy yellow fur all over his body. I really love the textured look the designers gave him. It gives him that furry look. He's got a white belly, big funny paws, and cat ears. He's got pink paw pads under his feet too. There's white fur on the inside of his legs, around his tail, and on the bottom of his face. You can even see some faint orange stripes on his body and the sides of his face. The fur on his face is smoother than his body. You can see Mario's face poking out of the costume with his signature mustache. He's got the same realistic eyes that follow you around. On the back, he's got a yellow articulated tail with a white tip. But where the heck are his claws? How the hell am I gonna scratch Donkey Kong to death without any claws? We get 15 points of articulation. Cat Mario's head rotates a full 360 degrees. His head moves slightly backward and forward with some head pivot. He has full 360-degree arm rotation. His arms pivot outward. 
He has full elbow movement, full 360 degree elbow rotation, and full 360 wrist rotation. He rotates a full 360 degrees at the waist, but it misaligns his belly pain. His legs have limited articulation, they move slightly backward and forward, his legs pivot outward. He has knee and ankle movement, his tail rotates a full 360 degrees, but I wanted to get him in a cat pose on all four limbs. Cat Mario looks ridiculously funny when he runs around as a cat. He comes with his question mark block accessory, but I was hoping to see a Super Bell power-up inside. Here's Tanuki Mario. Launch the bomber, Bill, and destroy the Mushroom Kingdom! Hey, 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 over here! Come on. The Tanuki suit actually first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3. While it's often confused with Raccoon Mario, it's actually based on a type of dog found in Japan. Mario, why do you look like a bear? What is this? Here's Mario dressed in his Tanuki suit. He reminds me of a teddy bear that I had as a kid, until I flushed him down the toilet. In the games, the Tanuki power-up allows Mario to jump up and fly through the air. Do you guys really think he'll fly? Let's see. Three, two, one. Fly, Mario, fly! Nope. Take a look at his fluffy reddish-brown fur all over his body. Similar to Cat Mario, I love how it's texturized, giving it a furry look. He's got a big, round, tan belly, gigantic feet, and cute little ears. While the fur on his head is texturized too, it's much softer than his body. You can see Mario's face poking through the costume. He's got the same realistic eyes that follow you around. He wouldn't be complete without his striped, dark brown, and tan-colored raccoon tail. Cool raccoon suit! Really? Not at all! I don't know why, but when I first took Tanuki Mario out of the box, I dreamt he was Donkey Kong. He just needs dancing packs. Let's talk articulation. He has full head rotation, but unfortunately he can't move his head up, so he flies with his head down. He has full 360 arm rotation, and his arms pivot out. He has elbow and wrist movement. He has slight waist movement, but it misaligns his stomach pain. And his tail spins like a propeller, like tails from Sonic. He has leg movement, his legs pivot outward. He also has a single jointed knee and ankle movement. Inside the box, you'll get the Super Leaf accessory. Tanuki Mario can hold his Super Leaf accessory, but it falls out too easily. Here's Kamek. Love really makes a guy come out of his shell. Let's rule the world. Together. Forever. Will you marry me? Oh, yes. As Bowser's most loyal henchman, Kamek would do anything for Bowser. I love how Kamek speaks with a German accent in the movie, but oddly, he's never mentioned by name. Kamek looks straight out of the movie. With his hunched over body, he's ready to kneel before Bowser. Behold, the king of the Koopa! Take a look at his curved beak-like mouth with his unique shaped nose and fangs. If you look closely at his hands, he's even got claws. His signature blue robe covers his entire body, including his feet. His wizard hat completes the look. I really love the textured look on his robe and white trim on his sleeves and hat. Because he's wearing a pair of round gray spectacles with black trim, Kamek doesn't have those realistic eyes. I wonder what his eyes would look like without the glasses. However, where Kamek really disappoints is in its lack of articulation. He has full 360 head rotation and slight backward and forward head movement. His arms have a limited range of motion because of his large sleeves. He has elbow movement and full 360 wrist movement. He actually has feet under his robe, but they don't move. He includes his wand, looks really good, with nice golden paint and a small transparent red jewel on the end. Hold your wand, Kamek. To the Mushroom Kingdom and the biggest fight of our lives. Here we go! Here's Biker Peach out of the box. Peaches, 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 I love you! You really thought I'd marry you? Kinda. I'd never marry a monster. Drama! We got Peach in her biker suit in a smaller scale with the Mario Kart pullback racers, but this figure looks a hell of a lot more detailed. Peach looks like a total badass in her signature white and pink biker suit. 
Her biker suit comes complete with hot pink matching gloves, a waist cinching belt, and knee high rider boots. Glamwise, she's got on strawberry toned lipstick and smoky black eyelashes with a matching pink scarf and knee pads. Her hair is tied in a ponytail sticking out the back. The helmet's not removable, and interestingly, this figure doesn't feature those realistic eyes. Blue Here's the blue shell. Just looking at this weapon of mass destruction terrifies me. I'm afraid to touch it. With 16 points of articulation, Biker Peach is the most articulated figure in the line. She can somewhat move left and right, backward and forward with some head pivot. She has full 360 arm rotation. Her arms pivot outward. She has elbow movement, full 360 degree elbow rotation, and full 360 wrist rotation. She rotates a full 360 at the waist. Her legs go somewhat backward and kick upward. She can also do the splits. She has a thigh cut for greater posability. She has knee and up and down ankle movement, and full 360 rotation at the ankle. It can be difficult to make Biker Peach stand, it would have been nice if we got a motorcycle in the same scale. Right now, I have to ride Biker Peach around on her toddler bike. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. Peach. Here's Princess. Princess Peach looks so princessy with her little crown. I love her size. She looks just like in the movie with great sculpting and painting. Yeah, Peach has got it. Where this model really disappoints is in its lack of articulation. From the waist down, she's as stiff as a mannequin. Most of her movement is in her arms and shoulders. The waist swivels a bit, but the head doesn't move a whole lot. She's got tiny feet at the bottom of her dress, but they don't move. Hold your umbrella, princess. Oh, no! Ah, this is fun! <laughs> so long, eh, Bowser. Thank you, Mario. Here we go! Look at Toad. I think he can stop Bowser on his own. How? Look at us. We're adorable. He reminds me of Treasure Tracking Toad. His booties and arms have great movement. Unlike Mario, he can roll his head around on a ball joint. Toad's head looks like a gigantic mushroom filled with helium. With his big head and backpack, it's hard to keep him balanced. You can bend him forward to balance him a bit or stick the pan in his backpack through the hole. I wish the backpack could be removed. He can hold the frying pan in his hand or stash the frying pan in his backpack. He's got an ax, a rope, and a deadly frying pan. <laughs> Retailing for $19.99, here's the Donkey Kong Stadium playset inspired by that epic moment from the movie where Mario battles Donkey Kong. Let's get it unboxed. Seriously, Jax, we need a 5-inch or 7-inch Donkey Kong figure in this collection. Tell him, fans, the world needs a full-size Mario movie Donkey Kong figure. <laughs> While it's a huge bummer that we don't yet have a 5-inch or 7-inch Donkey Kong in Wave 1 or 2, at least we get the next best thing, this super cool 1.25 inch Donkey Kong minifigure. Sing it with me, it's DK, Donkey Kong, DK, Donkey Kong. How friggin' cute is Donkey Kong? He's exclusive to this set, really nice looking face, and he has his signature red and yellow DK necktie. Love, love, love his design. He moves his head, rotates his arms, but his legs don't move. Here's what the set looks like in its closed form. What's cool? It opens to reveal the Donkey Kong Stadium Arena. You can even see Kongs in the background. It's jam-packed with interactive pieces, including four red movable platform beams, a hanging tire, a hanging crate, a temple, and three question blocks. Three barrels. Let's roll the barrels down the ramp from the exterior opening. I only wish it was grander in scale. I really wanted to have Cat Mario kick the crap out of Donkey Kong, but it's so freaking small. Retailing for $29.99, here's Bowser's Island Castle playset inspired by the one seen in the movie. Let's get this bad boy unboxed. It includes one Bowser's Island Castle set and an exclusive 2.5 inch Bowser figure. As of right now, you can only get this Bowser minifigure as part of this set. Bowser looks pretty freaking badass. 
I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? Bowser moves his head, his arms, but his legs and tail don't move. Really digging the paint, sculpt, and all the little details. Check it out, he even has tiny teeth. It's freaking insane that they got all this detail into such a tiny figure. Amazing. Too bad he can't blow any fire like the 7 inch figure. Let's switch gears to Bowser's Island Castle playset. On the exterior, we see Bowser's iconic head molded with hair, horns, teeth, eyes, and all. Very nicely done. But that's a bummer that his eyes don't light up as shown on the box. Unfortunately, they're just a solid piece of plastic. Really wish his eyes could really light up. That would have been cool. Bowser's jaw opens to let your Mario minifigures pass through. Notice there are hanging mace balls around the perimeter. These balls can actually be fully rotated. The highest point opens to reveal Bowser's throne where he can overlook the expanse. Hmm, what's that button? Should I push it? Let's push that button and see what happens. Aha, now Bowser can sit on his throne. Not sure if you know who I am, but I'm about to rule the world. Inside, you can see the twin towers and all the lava flowing everywhere. Really nice. I love all the interactive features, such as the jail cells that can be lifted or hidden. The cells can actually be opened and closed. Wouldn't it have been cool to have a Luma Lee figure to lock up inside? We'll just lock up Luigi, our damsel in distress. Mario! A trap door for characters to escape via the side hatch. And there are even hidden rolling wheels to bring the action of the movie to life. Honestly, the designers knocked it out of the park. In wave two of the Mario movie 1.25 inch minifigures, we get Cat Mario. Each figure in this collection retails for $5.99. Let's get him unboxed. Here's Cat Mario. Doesn't Cat Mario look super adorable? I'm a cat. Meow. Very nice sculpt and paint for a minifigure. Love it. He's got on his yellow cat suit with itty bitty little pink and white ears and his white and yellow tail. And it wouldn't be Mario without his signature mustachio. He's in a sitting position, ready to pounce at a moment's notice. But where in the heck are his claws to fight Donkey Kong? Cat Mario can only really move his head. I don't see why he couldn't move his tail. That's a bummer. As with the Wave 1 minifigures, Cat Mario comes with a question block accessory that opens to reveal the Donkey Kong Stadium from the movie. Here's Tanuki Mario. I really love the detail they've managed to squeeze into these minifigures. Interestingly, this power-up was inspired by the Japanese Tanuki, a raccoon dog that has mischievous behavior and shape-shifting powers. Mario, why do you look like a bear? What is this? Tanuki Mario is in his cute Tanuki suit with raccoon ears, a raccoon tail, and his normal white gloves. We can see Mario's head poking out of the suit. Cool raccoon suit! Really? Not at all! Tanuki Mario moves his head and his arms. Unfortunately, you can't move his legs or tail. Tanuki Mario's question block accessory reveals the Mushroom Kingdom. Attention! Here's General Koopa! General Koopa looks fantastic with his spiked blue head armor, spiked blue turtle shell, with nicely detailed white wings. Loving him. He's even got blue boots. Really nicely done. Blue shell! General Koopa moves his head left and right, up and down, and there's some head pivot. And his arms, no movement in his legs. His wings are on a ball joint, so you can move them in and out as well as up and down. What scene will we find? General Koopa's question block accessory reveals an image of Bowser on his throne. Here's Goomba, a small brown mushroom that's one of the most iconic enemies in the Mario franchise. Honestly, while playing the games, I never really thought of Goomba as a mushroom. How about you? My army! Koopas! Goombas! Whatever those things are! I love that he's stylized after the movie. Really nice sculpt. We can see his small brown eyes, cool eyebrows that extend beyond the figure, his two exposed teeth which give him character, and his two tiny feet. I absolutely love stomping Goombas in the games. Goomba's articulation is extremely limited, he can only move his head. Goomba's question block accessory reveals a scene with Bowser's statues. Here's Shy Guy. Did you know that Shy Guys wear their masks due to their shyness? I honestly never knew that before, but it does make sense, logically. 
I wonder what a shy guy looks like behind that mask. Would it be freakishly scary? I must say that I really love this shy guy minifigure. Really nice sculpt and paint. We can see shy guy's got his red hoodie, white and black mask, black and gold belt, and his blue shoes. Shy guy moves his arms and rotates at the waist. Unfortunately, you can't move his feet. I wonder what scene we'll get for Shy Guy. His question block accessory features Bowser lurking in the shadows with a fiery background. Very nice. Here's Dry Bones. Dry Bones looks like a cool skeletal version of a Koopa Troopa. We can see his rib cage, light blue hands, and light blue shoes, as well as his white turtle shell on the back. He looks great. Dry Bones moves his head and arms. His feet don't move. Here's a scene from Dry Bones' question block accessory. Nothing too exciting going on here, right? Welcome to Mario Kart! Select your player. We have the Walmart exclusive Mario Kart pullback racers retailing for $14.97 each. There are four figures in the line so far. Mario, Peach, Toad, and Koopa Troopa. Each comes with a cart and a two and a half inch rider. While the figures lack the same articulation as the five inch figures, the figures have just the right amount of articulation to pose them in their carts. <laughs> what I like most about this line is that the characters pop out of their vehicles. And I like how they can even hold the steering wheel. Here's Mario, he looks awesome. Here we go. This cart looks just like in the game, but is slightly more realistic and less cartoony. Love the front panel and white stripes and nitrous booster pad. Take a look at Peach in her motorbike outfit. Let's go. Finally, we get Princess in an outfit other than her dress. Yahoo! Loving the slick look of the cycle, complete with a princess crown decal Yahoo! and nitrous booster. Because she rides a motorcycle, she has added articulation in her Yay! knees, allowing her to sit on the bike. The pinholes under her shoes let her stay on the bike. The motorcycle's design lets it stand without a kickstand. Toad has a big, imposing monster truck reminiscent of the Tiny Titan. Yeah! Some nice details throughout. Massive, oversized wheels, a working steering wheel, and nitrous. <laughs> Koopa Troopa got his Bonsai Bill motorcycle. I'm especially impressed with the design of the Bonsai motorcycle with this smiling Bonsai Bill. Take a look at the beautiful sculpting on his shell. All of them have the pullback feature. It's actually fun to mix them around like in the games, but they're not entirely designed for that. Here's Koopa in the big truck, Peach on the bonsai bill, Toad in the cart, and Mario on the bike. Here's the one and a quarter inch question block figure assortment. There's Mario, Luigi, Princess, Toad, Koopa Paratroopa, and Kamen. Articulation is very limited. Each one comes with a question block that unfolds, but it's essentially the same environment. You can't have tiny figures without something to play in. Here's the $29.99 Mushroom Kingdom Castle playset that includes Mario and Peach. I love the Princess Peach stained glass sticker. The castle doors open and you can sort of stick a minifigure inside. I can just imagine Mario jumping into paintings Ouch, in there. What are you doing? On the back, there's a beautiful sticker. Check this out. It opens up to reveal a full level inside. Love the robotic piranha plants. You can have Mario and friends play through the whole stage. There are blocks that slide out. Watch out for Bullet Bill, who swings around. There's even a fireball. But it seems poorly designed because it can't spin around freely. Yahoo! We're the Mario Brothers and Plummins again. We're not like the others who get all the fame. For super service, call Super Mario Brothers Plumbing. They'll come over with the van playset, just as in the commercial. How cool is this? Check out the Mario Bro license plate. It's got the old school artwork on the sides with Mario on one side and Luigi on the other. It comes with the same Mario minifigure. Hello! The tires spin too, so it can move around. The back opens and the playset unfolds open. You've got everything from the Mushroom Kingdom to the Dark World here. What is this place? Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Let's head on over to the Jungle Kingdom Raceway. It includes a Hot Wheels Mario Kart die-cast vehicle. This set requires assembly. Let's see it in action. Mario, start your engine! Go! Mario sails around the loop. 
Can you believe it? And he's come full circle to do it all over. Also available is the Hot Wheels plumber van. <laughs> Check out the 14 and 15 inch posable movie Mario and Luigi. They're Target exclusives retailing for $29.99 each. Here's Mario. You can't have Mario without Luigi. These plushies are weighty, big, and fun. They've got plastic heads and soft bodies. Can they actually have overall pockets? With bendy wire inside, their arms and legs can be posed. And Bowser's favorite is. Oh, yes. What the fuck? Michelangelo, you have heart. Donatello, you have wisdom. Raphael, you have bravery. And Leonardo, honor. Cowabunga! I'm gonna do what any grown-up would do. Buy all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem movie toys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Heroes in a Half Shell! Holy freaking turtle power! Packed in a mighty style in Turtles Pizza Fire Van, this Ooze Cruisin' figure set features the entire Turtles team. Leo, Raph, Mikey, and Don, plus April O'Neil and Biba. Adding this pure awesome sauce to my cart, Cowabunga! Let's kick off this epic haul with this Ooze Cruisin' figure set. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Heroes in a Half Shell! Holy freaking turtle power! Packed in a mighty style in Turtles Pizza Fire Van, this Ooze Cruisin' figure set features the entire Turtles team. That just sounded like a leader. I do? Oh, I do! Oh, I sound like such a leader! And you ruined it. So what if nobody takes him seriously? Four and a half inch Leonardo, the leader, features a highly stylized comic look inspired by the movie. Here's his turtle shell with sheath that holds his katanas. Leo's ready for battle with his iconic twin katana. Each turtle has 12 articulation points for action-packed battle poses. His head's on a ball joint, so he moves left and right, has some backward and forward movement, and some head pivot. He has arm rotation, and his arms pivot outward. He has a single jointed elbow. There's rotation at the elbow and wrist. His legs have a ball joint, so they move backward and forward. His legs pivot outward, and there's thigh rotation. There's a single jointed knee. There's rotation at the knee, and his ankles simply rotate. Enough talk! I dream about fighting every night. You've got a rage oh, problem, right? Snap. It's not a problem! Is it me, or does 4.6 inch Raphael look a bit angry? It's no wonder they call him the angry one. He has loops for his size. Raph even has a battle scar, perhaps from a training accident. Raph includes his signature twin side. Hey guys, if we weren't monsters that were shunned by society and we could do what we wanted, what would you guys do? Maybe get a girlfriend? Not likely. Mikey's the comedian. Too bad his brothers don't think he's that funny. He's got a big smile from ear to ear. And he has storage for his weapons. Michelangelo is battle ready with his iconic nunchucks, but they're loose in his hands. Our dad is definitely not a giant rat. That makes me feel like he's a rat. Featuring a light green shade, 4.5 inch Donatello is literally the brains of the turtles. He has his signature purple bandana and coordinated accessories. Fanny pack with a smartphone sticking out, which is removable. Like the movie, Donnie wears glasses, and they're removable. He's got his iconic bow staff, but it's not painted. Let's store Donnie's bow staff on the back of his shell. Voiced by Seth Rogen, 4.5 inch Bebop, a half human, half warthog mutant, looks freaking amazing. In addition to his movie inspired outfit with exclusive green ooze splatter, he's got on his cool signature purple shades. But surprisingly, he's got no eyes underneath. Ah! Did Raph rip off Bebop's mom tattoo and put it on backwards to prove his toughness? Check out the details in his powerful Bebop drill gun. Man, that looks dangerous. Bebop's head swivels. His shoulder pads limit his arm movement. They also move outward. He has a single jointed elbow and his wrists rotate. Unfortunately, there's no waist articulation. He has leg, knee, but no ankle movement. This is insane. Turtle, mutant, karate teens. I want to know everything about you. Roughly four inches tall, April O'Neil, the turtle's friend, is exclusive to this set for now. April's wearing her movie-inspired outfit with her iconic yellow jumpsuit. 
and cool white and red kicks with black laces. She includes a bag accessory. With a ball jointed head, April can move her head quite a bit. She has shoulder and elbow movement, but no wrist movement. Her legs are on a ball joint. She has knee movement and her feet rotate. Let's check out the four and five inch basic figures, each retailing for $9.99. With twin katana, four and a half inch Leonardo dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime fighting team. So what if no one takes him seriously? He also has a weapons rack and a baby turtle. Let's put him in the cart. 4.6 inch Raphael, the angry one, has a big attitude and big dreams. Raphael has his Seus, a weapons rack, and a baby turtle. Let's put him in the cart. 4.25 inch Michelangelo is the funny one from the group, or at least he thinks so. He has 12 joints for striking various battle poses and includes his iconic nunchucks, a weapons rack, and a baby turtle. Let's put him in the cart. Four and a half inch Donatello is the brains of the turtles, making sure they're always outfitted with the latest machine. He has his iconic bow staff, glasses, headphones, and a baby turtle. Adding it to the cart. Trained in the art of ninjutsu, Radical Rat Dad slash four inch master Sensi Splinter looks super cute with those glasses and his movie inspired clothing. He comes with a walking stick sword, with Splinter's training and some last-minute parenting advice, the Turtles fight to keep their city safe. Played by the legendary Jackie Chan, 4-inch Splinter, Master Sensei, is the Turtles' radical Rat Dad slash Sensei. Sensei, Master, Mutant, Rival, Rat Dad. Of all his many roles, Splinter has most cherished being a father. Concealed inside his walking stick, Splinter includes his sword. He also includes a weapons rack, Splinter's head swivels left and right, his arms move backward and forward, and pivot outward. He has a joint at the elbow, and rotation at the elbow, and wrist. His legs go backward and forward, and there's thigh rotation. He has ankle movement up and down, and rotation. His tail moves left and right. 4-inch Superfly, a highly intelligent humanoid fly, is a clever, charismatic, and confident super criminal. Man, that's one badass looking fly. Interestingly, he comes with a detachable wing. He includes a blaster accessory. Gotta add him to the cart. What the? Y'all some little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants. Voiced by Ice Cube, 4-inch Superfly, the fly guy, who's half man, half fly, looks pretty freaking badass. He's one cool-looking villain that leads a gang of mutants. He's a highly intelligent humanoid fly. Superfly has lived in hiding his entire life, slowly amassing power in the criminal underworld. But freaking check out that massive clawed arm. And he even has little arms coming out of his body. What? Notice he has only one white shoe stuck on his leg. What kind of freakish beast is this anyway? Superfly's got his powerful blue blaster weapon with some nice little details, plus he includes this weapons rack loaded with accessories. Superfly's head moves left and right and up and down. His left arm moves backward and forward and outward. He has elbow movement and rotation. His right arm moves backward and forward and outward. His claw fully rotates. His legs move backward and forward and there's thigh rotation. He has a knee joint and rotation. Sporting movie-inspired styling, jacked up Warthog Mutant 4.5-inch Bebop not only sports some killer shades, he's ready for battle with his powerful blaster. Voiced by John Cena, 4.25-inch Rocksteady, a mutant rhinoceros looks nicely detailed with a great sculpt and paint. Built like a tank, Rocksteady's here mutant muscle. Whether it's from his fists or his horn, you don't want to take a hit from this guy. He and Bebop make a dangerous duo but their brains are what some may consider small, even for morons. Rocksteady's got his powerful blaster that's nicely detailed. Additionally, he has this weapons rack loaded with various accessories. Rocksteady's head swivels left and right, but it looks weird since it breaks up the skull. His arms move backward and forward and pivot outward. He has elbow and wrist movement. His legs move backward and forward, and there's thigh rotation and knee movement. 4.5-inch Leatherhead might have kept her crocodile instincts, but this rockin' croc also makes sure to stick to her roots with an outfit worthy of the outback. 4.5-inch Leatherhead, the raging mutant Cajun gator with an Australian accent, looks awesome with a fantastic sculpt and paint and an outfit worthy of the outback. 
Leatherhead's proud to be a mutant and all in on Superfly's plan to make more of them. They're down for causing destruction and mayhem, especially if it means getting to make a few big boombas. She's even got a holster for her shotgun with nice details. She has a fully loaded weapons rack loaded with various accessories. Leatherhead moves left and right, somewhat up and down, and there's head pivot. Too bad she can't open her mouth. Her arms move backward and forward and outward. She has elbow movement and rotation at the elbow and wrist. There's a hinge at the wrist. She rotates at the waist. Her legs somewhat move backward and forward and pivot outward, and there's thigh rotation. She has a knee joint and rotation at the ankles. Her tail moves left and right, and there's rotation. Oh, how cute are these? As seen in the movie, here are Target-exclusive 2.25-inch Turtle Tots Leo and Donnie. Each figure comes with its own iconic ninja weapons. Leo comes with his training katanas. Donnie comes with his training bow staff. Here's 2.25-inch to 2.5-inch Turtle Tots Ralph and Mikey. Ralph comes with his Seis, and Mikey comes with his nunchucks. Adding both of these sets to my cart. Before they became ninjutsu experts, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were fumbling, bumbling turtle tots who were always causing havoc and driving Splinter nuts. Aren't they so cute? He moves his head. His arms move backward and forward and outward. He has waist movement, but no foot movement. The turtles deliver justice and pizzas on time guaranteed. The Turtles figures are sold separately. The van opens from the front and back with room for all four Turtles and even Splinter. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! When Superfly and all his minions of baddies cause havoc and try to take over the city, the Turtles bring out the big gun. Check out the Pizza Fire van, the new Turtles Pizza Van inspired by the movie and retailing for $39.99. Figures and cycles are sold separately. These turtles deliver justice and pizzas on time guaranteed. Get all the turtles assembled and load them in their new pizza van. With the van's mobile pizza launcher, they combine turtle power and pizza power to blast the baddies into submission. The pizza fire van opens from the front and back and fits all your turtles figures, plus there's room for splinter. Interestingly, your turtle cycles can fit inside the van. Push the giant pizza launch activator, turn it on. Then push the red button to fire away pizzas. Launch up to eight pizza pies. The launcher is adjustable so you can hit batteries near or far. Three AA batteries are required for operation, but they're not included. Kick evil to the curb with the Turtles Ninja Kick Cycle. The combo packs retail for $24.99 a pop. Ninja Kick Cycle with Leonardo includes an exclusive 4.5 inch Leo figure with helmet. Leo has a similar sculpt and paint to the basic Leo figure. The main difference is that non removable helmet and those bigger hands. He has the same articulation as the basic Leo figure and includes his signature twin katana. Flip the pizza from side to side and kick from side to side, taking out the baddies. The cycle also has a Ninja Star launcher. Two projectiles are included. Inspired by the movie, Battle Cycle with Raphael includes the Battle Cycle and an exclusive 4.6-inch Raphael figure with helmet. Team up with Raph to take down villains on the move with the Turtles' new Battle Cycle. As Raph steers the cycle through the streets, one of his brothers can battle at his side and from behind in the transformable sidecar, turtle style. Store Raph's twin Sai on the battle cycle, and the nunchaku attaches to the sidecar's wheel for intense battle action. Let's check out this Walmart exclusive Turtles in Disguise party pack set, retailing for $29.97. Love the open window design. Here's Leo dressed as a cowboy with his cowboy hat, working gun holsters, excellent sculpt and paint. Absolutely love their costumes. They look fun, bright, and colorful. Howdy, partner. This sewer ain't big enough for the both of us. Wish the spurs were painted silver. Interestingly, Leo's the only turtle without his bandanas on his knees. He comes with a red and blue rifle with a yellow flag that says bang in red, and a pair of blue and red pistols. He has a ball joint on his head. His arms move backward and forward and pivot outward. He has elbow movement, as well as rotation at the elbow. 
he has wrist rotation. His legs move forward and backward. There's thigh rotation, knee movement, rotation at the knee, and ankle movement. Here's Astronaut Rat, my favorite figure in this set. One giant leap for mutant kind. Check out that mean look on his face. Raph has on a giant astronaut suit, tanks on his back, and slick space boots. He comes with a blaster and a nicely detailed sword. He has the same articulation as Leo. Here's Beach Bum Mikey. Cowabunga, dudes! Mikey's dressed as a surfer dude with a fancy hat, orange sunglasses without the lenses, a red and yellow Hawaiian shirt with sea turtles. Are those flowers or sea turtles? And brown sandals. He comes with a red guitar accessory, as well as a removable camera accessory. His guitar can also be attached on his back. He has the same articulation as Leo. Here's Donnie as Spock. LOL, Donnie's got fake black hair. Wow, his ears are pointed just like Spock's. He's even got Spock's Vulcan salute. Live long and prosper. He also has the Starfleet emblem on his belt and black shoes to complete his look. He comes with a pouch and a phaser accessory. The phaser's easily the best accessory in this set. He has the same articulation as Leo. Let's check out the 5.5-inch Deluxe Ninja Shouts action figures featuring their authentic movie voices and retailing for $14.99 each. Leonardo looks bodacious with a big old grin on his face. He comes with his signature katana. The main gimmick here is that he features power shout and punch in action, pull his arm or leg to hear fun catchphrases and sound effects. Hold them back to extend effects or repeat what he's saying. Let's put him in the cart. The 5.5 inch deluxe figures retail for $14.99 each. Talk about mutant mayhem, you'll get more than an earful from these Turtle Brothers if you mess with their mean, green, crime-fighting team. Throw a punch or land a kick to hear the ninjas shout some of their iconic catchphrases from Kawabunga to Totally Turtles. He's got his twin katana to slice and dice, and a sheath for holding his katanas. Leo has very limited articulation. He can move his head, arm, wrists, and leg. The main gimmick is that Leo speaks nine phrases and plays five sound effects. Hold them back to extend the effect. Raphael is one mean, green, crime-fighting machine. Is it just me, or does he look a tad angry? He comes with his sayus and features a range of phrases and sounds. Gotta add him to the cart. Wearing his iconic full red bandana and matching accessories, Ninja Shouts Raphael looks like one mean green fighting machine. Really digging the nice paint and sculpt on Raph, his battle scar is merely painted on rather than being fully sculpted. What a bummer. Raph includes his twin side. Raph speaks eight phrases or plays five sound effects. Hold them back to stretch out the effects. Donning his iconic orange bandana and matching accessories, Ninja Shouts Michelangelo looks full of glee. He really looks bodacious and like a fun guy. He's got a pair of nunchucks, so foes better watch out. Mikey speaks nine phrases or plays four sound effects. Hold them back to stretch out the effects. Donatello, the brainy one, certainly looks the part with a great sculpt. He comes with his iconic bow staff and glasses. Pull his arm or leg to hear a variety of fun phrases and sounds. It's time for Donatello to fight for his dream. Game developer by day and K-pop star by night. Wearing his signature purple bandana and coordinated accessories, Ninja Shouts Donatello looks like a brainy one with his removable glasses, nice sculpt and paint. Check out the look on his face. He has a pouch with his smartphone sticking out. Donnie's got his bow staff that can be held in either hand. Donnie speaks eight phrases or plays four sound effects. Hold them back to stretch out the effect. Pure awesome sauce. But the articulation sucks butt thanks to the gimmick. Now let's take a look at the Target exclusive Making of a Ninja sets retailing for $14.99 a pop. This Making of a Ninja Leonardo set features three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. We can see Leonardo's amazing growth from baby to turtle tot to his present form. Let's add it to the car. The Making of a Ninja 3-packs are Target exclusives retailing for $14.99 a piece. With an open window design featuring a cool illustration of the Turtles training dojo, Making of a Ninja Leonardo features three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. Very cool. Love the glow. Leo's identical sculpt-wise to the basic figure, but he's got a slick, translucent look. He includes his iconic twin, Katana. 
He has the same articulation as the basic Leonardo figure. Same deal with the Turtle Tot Leo. Turtle Tot Leo includes his twin training katanas. He has four articulation points, so he's quite limited. Baby Turtle Leo has some blue paint on his shell and also shares that translucent look. Making of a Ninja Raphael also features three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. We see Raphael's three forms, Baby Turtle, Turtle Tot, and Ninja Turtle. I certainly hope Target will have additional sets for Michelangelo and Donatello too. Featuring a window box with an illustration of the Turtles Training Dojo, making of a Ninja Raphael includes three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. We can see Raph's evolution from 1-inch Baby Turtle to 3.5-inch Turtle Tot to 4.6-inch Ninja Turtle. Let's see him glow in the dark. Love it! Raph features the same sculpt as the basic figure. That translucent look is the primary difference. He's got his iconic twin sigh for epic battles. He has the same articulation as the basic Raphael figure. Turtle Tot Raph has the same sculpt as the Target exclusive figure with limited articulation. Baby Turtle Raph has some red paint plus that translucent look. Let's check out the 12-inch Giant action figures retailing for $24.99 apiece. Meet Giant Leonardo, the turtle's leader in blue. Standing 12 inches tall with a movie-inspired look, Giant Leonardo looks freaking amazing. Brilliant sculpt and tons of movie-inspired details. He comes with twin katana. Gotta add him to the cart. The giant figures retail for $24.99 apiece. 12-inch Giant Leonardo, the leader in blue who dreams of being a fearless leader, looks freaking amazing with a movie-accurate deco. He's got a very nice sculpt and great paint. Love it. He has two-toed feet with nails. Store his twin katana in the sheath. He includes his iconic twin katanas with awesome attention to detail. He has a ball joint in his head with full head rotation, backward and forward head movement, and some head pivot. His arms move backward and forward and outward. No elbow joint. He has full wrist rotation. His legs move backward and forward and outward. He has knee movement and rotation, but no ankle movement. Standing 12 inches tall, Giant Raphael likes to break things. He dreams of being a mixed martial arts fighter and comes with twin Seiyas weapons. Love his mean green look, he looks menacing. He's in his element and ready to punch someone so hard they throw up. Standing 12 inches tall, Giant Raphael has a really angry looking face. Raph likes to break things. In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up. Fantastic sculpt and paint. They've done a spectacular job of capturing Raphael's likeness from the movie. He has a pretty deep battle scar. He also has two loops to hold his sides. His large turtle shell looks similar to Leo, sporting lots of nice details. Totally tubular, dude. He's got his twin side, which are very nicely molded in detail. Raph's got only seven articulation points, so he's very limited. Home Sweet Sewer Home. Inspired by the movie, standing a massive 25 inches tall and retailing for a whopping $94.99, the Sewer Lair playset packs the New York City streets, subways, sewers, and the lair into one spectacular set. Let's check out the Blind Surprise minifigures retailing for $27.99 for a 4-pack and $84.99 for a 12-pack. Which U's will you get? Which turtle will you get? Now let's check out some of the cool roleplay products retailing for $14.99 each. Here's Ninja Reveal Raphael Sayus, Ninja Reveal Michelangelo's Nunchucks, Ninja Reveal Donatello's Bow Staff, and also look for Ninja Reveal Leonardo's Katana. Kawabunga! Take a look at that bill I racked up. I love this collection. All right, collectors, what TMNT Mutant Mayhem collectibles will you be adding to your collection?